everyone, so I haven't gotten a chance to sit and film at all since I filmed this video on Sunday, and as of filming it is now Wednesday. But on Sunday, I went to a Sweet 16, and I filmed a Getting Ready With Me video for you guys, but uh, as I was running out, I didn't get to take any footage or pictures or anything in my dress with my every like completed look done, but I figured I'd still post it and include some pictures of my dress and stuff for you guys just so you would kind of get the general idea. So please comment letting me know what your favorite getting ready tips are and yeah, let's get started. So starting off with hair, I just started by splitting it into a middle part and then I took my got to be flat iron bomb, which is a great heat protectant and it makes my hair smell amazing and it just sprayed that throughout my hair and brushed it out to make sure the pattern is evenly distributed to protect it from the heat. So then I just took my chi flat iron and I just straightened the entirety of my hair, uh, split it into sections, but I didn't really feel something like that. So on to makeup, I started off by using my Benefit Professional Primer and I just put this all over my face, uh, focusing on the center just to kind of prepare my face for foundation. Then taking my Chanel foundation and foundation brush, I just kind of applied my Perfection Lumiere all over my face to even out my skin and cover up any blemishes or redness. Now taking my Select Moisture Cover Concealer by MAC, I'm just applying that underneath my eyes and on any red areas to cover up my dark circles and imperfections. Now I'm just taking my MAC 182 Kabuki with my Revlon Photo Ready Pressed Powder and setting my makeup so it doesn't slide throughout the night. Now I'm going to be applying my Tarte Eye Primer all over my lids, up to my brow bone and underneath my eyes just to kind of make sure that my eyeshadow stays in place and doesn't crease. Now, using my CoverGirl Quad in Pure Romance, I'm going to be applying the lightest, champagne beige color all over my lid using a MAC Now, taking the darker purple color with my MAC Face Brush, I'm just blending that from the outer corner into the crease. Now, using the Skylark Brush and the super long purple color, I'm applying that to the kind of deeper of the color. So now that I've blended that all out, I'm going to take another flat shader brush and apply the same purple color from before along my lower lash line. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner lid and just applying a thin line to my lids and slightly winging it out. Now taking a waterproof eyeliner from Rimmel, I'm just going to tight line my eyes. And once you've done that, I'm just going to apply it on the outer half of my waterline. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and get ready to apply my mascara. And then I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is amazing, and apply it on my upper and lower lashes. Now, using a Maybelline eyebrow pencil, I'm just going to apply that and fill in my eyebrows and then blend it out with a spoolie. Now, I'm just going to apply my Wet n Wild lipstick in Dark Wine, and this was 99 cents, and it's honestly an amazing lipstick, so I really recommend this one. Usually I do this with four lipsticks, but I kind of forgot to, so I'm just applying my favorite blush, which is Max Blush Baby with my 129. And my nail polish is Reverso by Andrew's Choice. And for perfume, I chose my favorite, Amaraz by Givenchy. For jewelry, I'm just wearing this gold necklace from NastyGal.com and these Sagittarius arrow earrings from Urban Outfitters. My blue dress is from NastyGal.com and my bag is Henry Bendel. So yeah, that was pretty much it for my getting ready with me videos. As you see, I included some pictures there because I didn't get a chance to film. But yeah, I hope you liked that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!